Teague. Welcome back, everyone, to The Pass is Alive. Recently, I took a trip out to L&L Fleet Teak 2 Antique Mall located in Adamsburg, Pennsylvania. It's about 15 minutes away from where I live. I've been here before many times, and I seem to always find some good stuff here. This time, a uh, pretty decent haul of vintage toys. So, check it out. Two bucks for Nolan Ryan Express cards. Remember those things. Some hot wheels. Buck a piece. Nine bucks. Forty-eight car carrying case. Tom Seaver Blade. Had to cut the audio here in this next part. This place has oldies music blasting all the time when I was real close to the speaker. This guy had a lot of old Hot Wheels stuff. As you can see, there's some Walt Disney things. Uh, there's a Batman Returns vehicle in the back there on the card. Batman the Animated Series figure. Uh, some newer Star Wars stuff. There's some Star Wars figures in the shelf there I'm looking at. Hulk figure below. A lot of Star Wars stuff, actually. No originals. Mostly newer stuff. There's a Kenner reissue I'm holding right there. You can see some uh, different retail trucks in the background. There's a Pepsi truck. Some coins in the showcase there. Golf clubs. And a bunch of Hot Wheels cars hanging on the lights that are strung up around the booth. More into our Star Wars stuff. Toys Us exclusive. If it works. Dollar shelf. Only star jewel. Fifteen hundred cards, five dollars for all of them. They're all mixed. Wrestling cards. Oh, five bucks for a whole box. There's some good rookies in here. Tops. On trail. Honey tops. Home lanes. All stuck together.
Okay, so I had to cut out the audio once again because I'm getting closer to the CD player now. It's blasting more oldies, which is really annoying. My biggest gripe about this antique mall is that they're always blasting oldies music in there. Um, there was an autograph Pirates picture I just walked past, and this is a Dick Tracy lunchbox I'm holding. Only 8 bucks with a thermos. Pretty good deal. It's pretty much the going rate for Dick Tracy lunchboxes. It's probably about 10 to 15 bucks if you look on eBay. I'm not a huge Dick Tracy fan. I used to kind of enjoy the movie when I was younger, and I had some of the figures, but not a huge fan overall. Our collector over here, some G.I. Joe, older G.I. Joe dolls in the showcase here, and also an ALF plushie that was like 40 bucks. Then walking around the corner, I spotted a Street Sharks comic book. And... A lot of you probably remember Street Sharks from the 90s. It sells with a lot of money now. The comic book alone was 20 bucks by itself, so pretty pricey. And then notice this home plate baseball card game. I think it was like 5 bucks. It had Barry Bonds and his dad, Bobby Bonds, on the front of the box there. Some Eric will probably like, actually. And then I continued to walk around and found a Howdy Doody lunchbox from like 1977 or 78 for 12 bucks. A lot of you probably remember that that uh, show from your childhood. And then continue to walk past the speaker there and found the baseball card section. It's not really that big, but they had a 1989 box of uh, Bowman that was factory sealed for $12, which isn't too bad of a price. You got the Griffey rookie in there. An 89 Fleer box for $14, I believe which is kind of steep in my opinion. And also some rack packs of 89 tops that were $2 a piece, which was way too high. Should cost no more than a dollar at the absolute most, honestly. And then I, I just walked right past it. There was nothing I was really interested in that section. Turn the corner, there is a Don Drysdale uncut sheet of cards. I'm not really sure what year those were or anything else. They weren't actual real baseball cards, some sort of subset, random subset. Some more toys over here, some Hot Wheels, they had some Star Wars, The Force Awakens figures, some Walking Dead figures, nothing I'm, I'm real interested in, mostly newer stuff. And then also some more uh, sports stuff over here. They had some different NASCAR items over here on the shelf next to the sports stuff. And I found a Pete Rose plate, which is pretty cool. And that was 1985, I believe. And it was only 18 bucks, limited to 10000 So I thought about buying it, but I got the Tom Seaver plate as soon as I walked in there. So I ended up leaving that behind for somebody else. They had some bobbleheads there, too. But the bobbleheads all seemed to be way overpriced. A lot of pop culture stuff back here. Superman bathtub paint set. Weird. Transformers lunchbox. Got the thermos. One to five bucks. Crash gummies. Twenty-five. Most everything. Oh. Huh. Voltron. Oh, okay. 20 bucks. What's the thermos? It's a nice shape. 1984. Transformers Camaro, 20 bucks. Eight. Old bats. Oh, 
I don't That's alright. That's it. You're fine. Was freaking packed. 89 Bowman wax box. $29. Whoa, that should be like 10 tops. Because the Griffey smolts. Jim Abbott, Rob Ventura, Sheffield's in there too, and Tia Martinez. Not worth $29 though. Three. Starting lineup, 1998. Johnny Bass, Joe Morgan. Eight bucks. Pretty high. I'll take cards out of sheets. Which are these? Dollar piece. Howard Johnson. Ricky Jordan. Tino, our rookies. Mixed. Chris Sabo Page on Trammel. Ozzy Smith, it's not a bad one. Boggs, no really order. There's a Biggio rookie. Right in the center there. It's not bad. Ripken. Ray Williams. Maggie Page. Bill Murphy. Now reverse negative. Tim Raines. A rookie. Dykstra. Huh. You hear this from 75, 74. Those are pretty cool. Two bucks. Yeah, another worth in there. My binder. Huh. Well, 70s cards, 70 top starter set, 18 bucks. There's any rookies in here. Any other? Johnny Quill. <laughs> I love this. I'd buy that if it wasn't twenty nine dollars. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, Nothing pretty to make oh, more fire. Yeah. That's neat. Oh, Some toys. How much you have one? Star Trek watch for a dollar. It's already cut open. Yeah. Tops folders. Steve Sachs. Twenty-five cents to a dollar each. 
So pretty cool with their Rick Sutcliffe, the same players. No real good toys in here. Oh, nice. That was like Eric's favorite show when we were younger. A buck. And it still has the stickers. There's some missing, but. There's some colored in too. Some of these are used and colored. Yeah, this was Eric's favorite show and toy line when he was a kid, 1985. I think this came on like 82 or 81 or something like that. This is cool. If it wasn't already like used and gone through, I'd get it for him. Last action here. Oh, ten bucks. Oh wait, is it five now? I need this one. Last action hero. You never seen this. I love this movie. Some blemish there though, some st sticker rip. You can get this for five bucks usually in like better condition. I, I do want that if it was in didn't have a sticker if I'd buy it. Yeah, I need to get that one. I'll leave it behind today. Yeah, I'll get him. Look at these stickers and tear the card off. Doesn't. There's some toys. A bunch of G.I. Joe on a card. Colonial Courage. Colonel Courage. Ten bucks. Astro Viper. Thirteen bucks. Bots Master. Yeah, the plate and Bots Master. There's two of those. Yeah, I might be interested in getting a few of these off of you. Okay. Let me run these down and I'll come back. Okay. Don't meet up. My name is Lynn. Okay, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. Yeah. six bucks. <laughs> Another payload, six bucks. These have been here for a few months. A busy part of town here. There's Lord Zed for three bucks. Missing this thing on his helmet there. Random grab bag. Are troopers, no price. Maybe you sell for 15 a piece, nine bucks. Oh, that's neat. You gonna get it? How much is it? Colonel Courage again, 10 bucks. Another VR trooper for nine. Star Trek. Six. Die Cast Metal. 84 McDonald's Happy Meal. Okay. Yeah, I think I've never seen that before. A bunch of wrestling figures, too. Hey, that was your last time we were here. Um, Wolverine plushie for 12 bucks. Oh, 
what I wanted. Johnny Damon. Busters, Raiders of the Lost Ark, that's sick. Four bucks. That's pretty cool. Very long books. This is pretty awesome. Moss of the Grouch. What is it? How to be a Grouch. Oh, I like that. Four bucks, read along the set. Did you see Batman theme? Yeah, I, I did see that. That's pretty neat. No Ghostbuster stuff ever. Never, ever. Bears carrying case. Bunch of board games. Connect four. There's a Sesame Street playset for 15 bucks. Okay, so the next section I came across I had the music blaring once again, the oldies. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of toys in this section. A lot of them are on the card. A lot of $5 toys. You can see there's a Peter Pan hook figure here from that movie, I think it was 1991. Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman. Pretty neat toy line there, made by Kenner as well. I used to have some of those. There's a Congo figure. I'll see, see a Skeleton Warriors figure there. Also five bucks. That was a pretty cool toy line. Never had any when I was whenever I was younger, but I always thought about getting them. I think I had the original Hills sticker on it too. There's a lot of Batman stuff in there too, and they have the tick there. A lot of loose figures down below in bins. Um I think those are mostly around between three and five dollars too. The place is called Collect Them All, as you can see on there. It's located in Harrison City, PA. Not sure if they have an actual brick and mortar location or not. Or if they just set up inside of the the um, antique mall here. But decent selection. They always seem to have a good bit of on-card toys there, which is what I'm always looking for. But it's usually never toy lines that I collect currently. A lot of X-Men figures there as well. 90s X-Men. There's a Land of the Lost figure buried back there. There's a Terminator 2 figure as well. Those were also made by Kenner. And there's the Land of the Lost. Uh, I think it's Kevin Kevin Porter. I used to have that figure when I was younger. I used to play with it all the time. Pretty cool toy line, too. They're pretty cheap. You can usually find those for about five bucks on the card for most of them. The actual place that it sells a lot more money and pretty rare. I thought about buying it if the card was kind of mashed up a little bit. A lot of those cards had sticker damage and things to them. There's Star Trek. They had some tech decks up there. Spider Man 2 as well. Uh, there's a looks like an Imagine Next Bat Batman Bat Cave. More loose figures. There's Legends of Batman. Pretty cool toy line. But yeah, those were all five bucks though. So kind of neat though. There's there's a lot of different toy lines in there. And this was this was funny too. The movie Steel. If you guys remember that, I think it was like 1997 or something like that. Shaquille O'Neal was the main character in that movie. Wasn't real fond of the movie, but it was more like comical and cheesy than it was anything else. I actually totally forgot they made a toy line for it, but that was Shaq, Shaq's action figure right there. And there's some more loose toys in the bin. But I couldn't really find anything that I wanted, so I moved on. And then came across some micro machines. There's a lot of people on here always asking about micro machines. There's some Star Trek uh, USS Enterprise. There's was 10 bucks. I thought that was a little pricey and more of an eBay price. So I moved on from that. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Dinosaurs. 50 cents a piece. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Speed. Home Alone. Rescue 901. I used to love this show when I was younger. Remember that show? Yes. Rescue 901, 1997. I used to watch this like every single day. The show was sick. Didn't know, they, didn't know they made VHS tapes. Dinosaurs though. He's in the perfect condition too. 
still in the stuff. He came with him. Took a good deal. It was A's cartoon. I'd buy it, but I only want those on VHS. Moving right along, right down the aisle. Found some baseball cards, some old sets, some hockey uh, in there as well. I checked it out. There's a box of 88 tops for $14, which is way overpriced. There's some 1991 tops jumbo packs, and they were $2 a piece. After seeing those high prices, I just kind of walked away. I knew I wouldn't find anything else that would be reasonable, so made my way around some more. Came across this old Farmore shopping cart. If any of you remember Farmore, somebody wrote LOL on it to be funny there. It didn't have that LOL on it, and the logo wasn't scratched off more. I would have tried to buy it. The last time I was here, I ended up getting um, that Ames hand basket that you guys saw. And I think my very first video had that out in, in it on display. But I saw it at this place for years, and uh, one day the guy was sitting there, and I was like, trying to buy the entire basket. It was full of Benny Babies. So I was like, what do you want for the whole basket? And uh, I forget what they said, but I was like, I don't really want the Benny Babies. I just want the basket itself. But I was going to buy a little Beanie Babies inside of it just to get the Ames basket. So I ended up getting it for five bucks, which is a really good, really good deal for something like that. Usually, you see things like that they sell for like I don't know around fifty bucks. So this place always has something good. If you're in the area, definitely stop and check it out. But that is the end of uh, my flea tea trip. Okay everyone, so quick recap. I know I did this uh, previously in a flea market video, showed my haul for over the weekend, but wanted to show everyone what I found at Flea Teak, just in case they missed the last one of the weekend. But uh, first thing I found in there was this Tom Seaver um, plate commemorating his 300th win in 1985. And this is number 163 out of 1200 um, from 1986, Games, games 1 signature, signature edition. So that's pretty sick. Good find there. I'm going to end up selling that on eBay, so I'm going to list that soon if anyone's interested. The second thing I came across was these Extreme Action Wrestling bootleg figures from 1998. This is basically a dollar store toy, but um, I love seeing stuff like this on the card, especially bootleg um, figures and stuff like that. Usually if they're a good price, I'll buy them every time. So it says two the micro wrestlers and also the ring as well. This just got put on my um, Instagram page, so that's also for sale as well if anyone's interested. A little bit of sticker damage up there, but nothing major. So that's also for sale. Third thing I came across was these Bots Master promo um, poster and uh, three glasses. These are from 93, promoting the cartoon. Came out in the fall of 93. Two of these. Um, I have several other ones too. I've come across these before um, from my on my eBay page and Instagram page. So my pages will be linked down below if any, anyone's interested in picking these up. Pretty neat though for any fans of the show. It was a, wasn't a really long lived cartoon. It ran for less than a year. Um, pretty neat though. And picked a bunch of Joes. Everyone loves Joes. These are um, Colonel Courage, Battle Corpse. From 1993 or 92, actually, Hasbro. And these are decent. Uh, the cards are pretty crisp there, and the bubbles are firm. No separation at all. So these are both for sale. Um, put these on my Instagram page recently as well. The Passes of Live Toys. Check them out if you're interested. Also picked up two of these guys from the Joe Star Brigade edition. Two payloads with the original hill stickers on them. So those are pretty neat and they're both in pretty good shape too. These are from 93 actually. That's made them in 93. As you can see the cards are decent. This one's got some creasing up there. But um, these will also be for sale on my eBay and or the Passes of Laugh Toys on Instagram. So there's those. I'm trying to make this video short and sweet. And also this Astro Viper figure also part of the star brigade and he is in really good shape so he'll also be for sale and i also made a video on a indoor antique mall down the road from um fleet teak my camera died so i did pick up these four packs of 92 studio for a buck so i figured i'm gonna split those up and now 
just for hell of it. See if we get any heritage insert cards, which I do enjoy. Quarter pack is not bad for these. Um, I don't have the odds on here for the heritage, but they're pretty neat. I think the best cards in this set are Barry Bonds and Nolan Ryan. Really, no good rookies or anything. Backs are open all weird. Let's see what we get. Bly Bow. Frick Aguilera. Mark Grace. Barry Larkin. Hall of Famer. And Ken Caminetti. Got all the junk wax there. Even if I pull no one good, I mean, I pulled a Larkin, that's cool. But even if I pull no insert cards or no bonds or no one around, I still have fun doing this. Sort of the nostalgia aspect of it. Love cracking old packs. Sean Crook. Mattingly. My dad's favorite player. Jose Aline, someone just sent me that card. I thought this card was so weird, he's holding a sword. I never understood what the story was behind that. Cards are all flipped every which way. Let's see here. Checklist. Jim Abbott. Used to like him a lot. I like this set a lot because they had weird random facts on here. Most like to meet Neil Young. Fair movies of Godfather. I always liked that when I was a kid. That was pretty neat. Learn about your favorite players and what they liked. The Tim Raines on the back. Hall of Famer. Biggio. Another Hall of Famer. It's a good one. And it looks like we got a heritage card. Sick, Wade Boggs. I was hoping I'd pull one of these. That's an awesome, awesome pull. I like that a lot. No, I mean, it's not valued very much, but I like these, uh, this insert set a lot. That might actually be my first one that I have. Really cool, put that off the side. Jay Bell, he's like him a lot. Home team. Harold Baines. New to the Hall of Fame. And Rock Reigns. Stoked in that Wade Boggs, that's pretty sick. And the very last pack of the evening. Eric Harris. Alan Trammell, another Hall of Famer. Another Rock Reigns. It's like identical to the last pack. Why couldn't we get the another Heritage card? Well, that's it for this video. Um have any questions about anything or you'd like to purchase anything that you saw in the video let me know i'll also put links down below to my ebay and also my instagram so um you can always go there and check them out as well but that's it for this time and uh take care leave any comments down below any questions anything else and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching